It's happening. Woo! Taking a bit through there? Oh, this is a problem. Our little blue guy. Farm comes first. Here we go, here we go. Okay, y'all, it's it's happening. It's happening. Well, two things are happening. Here's one. We decided to uh, we decided to drain the green monster here. Really? Is that necessary, Clara? No, that's Rocket. Somebody wants to play. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of start over here. Okay, y'all, y'all are just really full of yourselves. Yes. Okay. All right, I was gonna try to talk. We're siphoning it out. And we're gonna clean it, and then we're gonna, we need to re-level it a little bit. It's got a little, it's got a little wonky. So, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, y'all are really annoying. Oh, okay, and then, what do we have here? We have the cutter, the hay barn getting ready to go even though it looks like it might rain today and there's a severe risk a risk of severe weather you ready to grease it all right it's greased now it's getting getting sharpened I think he's already got it in high gear. If you've been around here any length of time for any hay season, you know that he likes to go in high gear, Donnie. He cuts in high gear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, daddy. Oh my gosh, y'all. Somebody's turned the oven on in North Carolina. Have I already said that? It's hot. I had upper body day and then sprints. And um, got me, got me. All right, now. Go get some fuel, some hydration, and we'll go see just how fast he's going out there. But first, let's just take a moment to appreciate these, these hardworking pups here. Bonnie at her trough, eating her food out of the boot tray. Lady, uh, you taking a mid-morning nap? Is that what's happening? Did you have a long, hard night in that crate? Right there, same place, same position? Okay, I know, nobody understands, right? Nobody can truly know the life of a dog, how hard it can be. Okay, this is a first. He's cut the, uh, he's cut this little, <laughs> this little patch of grass. I've never raked that before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Oh my goodness, look at this. It really looks like rain, but maybe it'll just be today. I can tet it and it'll dry. Doesn't seem to be very go going very fast for him. Huh. I don't rake through there, I can tell you that. 
<laughs> He's getting it, y'all. He's getting it. Just got back from town and a trip to the post office and got some lovely things from my friend Jan in Illinois. And she has been a busy bee. She made us some of these um, pot holders, several of them. There's a big one. That's nice. You can use that a placemat. Phone holder. This one, we don't have any this size. It's like for a cup or a mug. That's good. Scrunchies. Oh, wait, I don't have one. I had one in earlier. Very, very good. We'll use those. Towels, crocheted. Thank you so much. That was sweet. Y'all are just the smartest, smartest people. We appreciate you. Oh, and some scrubbies. Can always use these. These things work so good. I got some of these from somebody else, and I love them. Yay. Thank you, Jan. I love this picture of you on your old farm mall. I love it. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good day. I guess your daddy's still rolling, right? You haven't heard from him. Okay, that's a good sign. If we haven't heard from him, that's a good sign. Well, we went to church, and while we were gone, the sky fell out. And it looks like it did it here, too. Let's see. Any put? Well, it didn't even make a puddle. I don't think it rained much here. Good. It rained a lot in town on the pavement. Maybe. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Do you smell it? It's like sweet, sweet, sweet. For what it's worth, I was asking the kids if they could smell it, not you, because I realize y'all can't smell it. I wish you could though, because it's pretty awesome. And it's tutting day. Woohoo! Leslie is off doing his driving, y'all. He's doing his he's doing his driving. One of it's gonna take two days. He's out on the roads with his instructor. I can't believe it. Anyway, so Lawrence has been working on the um trying to work on the baler and evidently the sensor he got the other day at the John Deere place is not working. It's still not working. So this is a problem. So we got all these belts replaced and now it's, I don't know if we're gonna be able to use it. We might have to use the old, old baler. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyway, he's going to Ted, gotta get that done. We got another beautiful day and Austin is working hard on the pool. So, oh look, most of it has drained out. This is the hard part is getting down to the bottom of it all. Oh. Well, I thought we were going to try to take that out. I am getting most of the, it was like a hundred pounds. Of okay. Leaves yeah, it was heavy. How much leaves came out of the middle of it? Oh, wow. So you got all those out. Okay. You're doing good, girl. I'm proud of you. Woohoo. <laughs> this is a great job. Isn't that water cold? It looks disgusting. It's actually really warm. It's warm? Okay. Because there's not much in there and it's been sitting in the sun. I just feel so good about like basically starting over. We're gonna start over. We're gonna get it really good and clean. And then, um, and y'all gave me some good ideas about the ladder. A lot of you have said that we should just paint a clear coat on the ladder, the fiberglass. And yeah, the ladder. Is that what it's called? What? The ladder. This is something else I'm talking about, but it's gonna segue into this. So this is also, I think this is like some kind of fiber. I don't know what this is. But it, it really, it's really itchy and it hurts. So I just think we'll do the same thing. We got to get some clear coat paint and just paint everything that's trying to hurt us. Okay. So this is, this is what we're doing. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a fresh clean pool in a couple weeks. I got to figure out the pump thing again. I really want to go with the, um, what do you call it? Salt water. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Okay. Just got a call to go get Rocket because he's over there and he's going to run himself to death. Back. Oh, Bonnie. I got some 70s shades in the mail. My friend Jen had some and I just, I needed them. Woohoo! Where's the little rocket dog? Bless his heart. Come on. 
Were you right? Where? Were you just? Were you just going crazy? Bless his heart. You're filthy. Oh, you're filthy. Literally filthy. Good thing this is the work truck. Let's see what Daddy's doing. Go, little blue guy. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good, y'all. I know I've already said that. It's like a different smell today, though. It's the same, but different. I can't remember if I said, but luckily we only got like four hundredths of rain last night. So yesterday afternoon, it rained really hard in town. I think I did show that. I think I talked about it coming in the drive, but I don't think, I didn't know how much it had rained here. So it only rained like um, 400, so that's good. Um, I don't know, we really need to, we need to, tomorrow we're supposed to go to practice and then we need to get this up the next day. And then the next, ah! wow, trouser. And then, and then the next day, oh my gosh. And then the next day we have practice again. We need to go to practice because we have our show next weekend. So I'm a little worried that we might have to miss one. We'll see. We'll see. That's the, uh, that's part of it. I knew that was going to be an issue this spring and summer. Just farm comes first. All right. This is going to take him a little while. Okay. We have been called to duty. Tea duty. <laughs> He's done up here. Um, problem is, I didn't realize I was out of tea. So we've got a half a glass of tea. It's time, it's time to stock up on starter. The heat, it's, the heat is turning up. We're gonna start going through tea like Grant went through Richmond. Isn't that the saying? I thought that was a buzzard. Anyway, squirrel, okay. Here's my boy in his little car. <laughs> his teacher said, wave to your mama. <laughs> Hi, Rocket, no. Come here, come here. He can be ugly. Hush. Don't be Hush. How'd it go? You made it. Rocket's gonna be mean. Y'all, I gotta show you. My peony, peony, how do you say it? It's blooming, oh my goodness, isn't it gorgeous? I don't know what um, variety it is. Is it a Sarah Bernhardt? I think that's like one of the main ones. Oh my gosh. I wish you could smell it, it smells so good. So I, um, I planted this like, I wanna say, Five years ago or so, it's been a long time. And this is the first year it's bloomed. This is very exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's so beautiful. Now I wish I had a whole row of them. And that is the goal, actually, to get some from my friend Celia, who has the flower farm in our county that I showed that the kids went to um, for their 4-H meeting, their last 4-H meeting. She said she might be able to hook me up with some this fall when she gets some in. So anyway, exciting. Oh, I wish you could smell it. And my first day lily bloomed today. These are those, those um, Stella de Oro. De Oro? Is that how you say it? Stella? Stella's. They're getting ready to pop open. And that's a different variety that blooms later. And cat mint is blooming. That's the purple and it smells good. Snowball bush is long gone. One uh, knockout rose there. I need to move it, but anyway, everything's doing its thing. Starting to, or playing out a little bit. My hellebore's playing out, but it's still pretty. And the foliage will be there all, Christ all Christmas, all summer. Woo, Marty, get it right. Rocket is not happy he's in his box because he had to get another bath. He's drying off. Y'all look at this. Austin did an amazing job. This took her several hours. 
it's like a new pool and we get it leveled back up and filled back up and try again well pups and i are getting in a walk this morning lawrence is already out ted and he's just gonna do these fields he's not doing some of the others because he said they were too thin he didn't want to beat it to death but this this is pretty thick right here should make some good hay i hope There you go. All right, you got the heel. All right, first try. Good job. Loading up. Lawrence said you did such a good job, Wesley. He said the trailer was clean enough to eat off of. <laughs> we got a new um, power washer. Made a difference. Your back bothering you? Hmm. Hank? Well, we just got back from practice. Another really good practice. And this was waiting for us on the porch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A very kind viewer <laughs> sent a new ladder. Oh, me. Wesley's excited. Aren't you, buddy? Mm -hmm. He doesn't show it very well, but he is. I promise. Thank you. You know who you are. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That will come in so handy. So handy. Perfect height. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. No more scratchy, whelping arms. That's sweet. And it's go day, y'all. These two fellas have been, what are you even doing? Greasing the baler. Greasing the baler. Greased Rita yesterday. And uh, we're getting close. It's hard to dry hay. It don't get hot. I know. So it's hard to drive. It doesn't get hot. It's, um. <laughs> he said he could tet it three more times and beat it to pieces, but don't want to do that either. It's just hard this time of year. Around here, anyway. We got a warm day and we got a sunny day, but it's, um. And the wind's blowing. And the wind's blowing. Not too much. I mean, uh, enough to help. So, we should be good to go in a couple hours, hopefully. And, barring any unforeseen circumstances, we shouldn't have any trouble getting it done. <laughs> shouldn't be in the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wesley said, don't, don't jinx it, Mom. I know, I've done that too many times. So, this morning, first thing, he took a trailer over to Thumper's, our friend Thumper's. So, he's cutting his first cutting hay today. It's orchard, right? Orchard or fescue orchard? Orchard. And we're getting 100 bales of square bales from him. And we are going to do some square bales, too. But we decided to go ahead and we're going to get his first cutting. And then we'll do some square bales, our second cutting. Lawrence thinks that'll be our better hay anyway. So... Yay, square bells. Now well, we just gotta find somewhere to put them. Hmm. But I'm excited, so excited. Our kids, our kids, well they are our kids, aren't they? Our horses are gonna think that's like um, candy. They're gonna love it, it's gonna be good for them. Hopefully we won't have to feed it for quite a while. Huh? In the container? That would be perfect. Is that what we're doing? Well, you didn't say that this morning. Well, I figured somebody else would think of it. You, oh, you thought you were waiting to see if somebody else would think of it. Okay. Well, if we don't have to use it for anything else, then that's perfect. That's good. Okay. All right. Problem solved. I kind of see if I got the ball in there. Oh. Well, you can pull it out, put the hay in, and put the seed back in the front because it'll be using that before 
we we'll use a hay, hopefully. You got your eye off down one side. So you could get to it. An aisle, he said. Aisle. You can get either one you want. Okay. I like the I like that. Okay. Good. That container will hold a lot of hay. Yeah, I need to get another one. Yeah. Anybody so know where we can get one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be good for that, I reckon. Let me see if I can pull up there and get this bucket off there. So I think it's a pallet, right? There's so usually another bucket. Mm -hmm. Ginger bottles. Here we go, here we go now. I gotta get a ride to my ride. First day out. Feels like it's been a hundred years. Here's open. Nothing breaks. Okay, you ready, Rita? You ready? Let's do it, girl. <laughs> 